doing Kick 90s in a 3D view. All right, before we start, I'd like to make sure that our project settings, uh, I got angle set to degrees and my slopes set to degrees. And under electrical settings, uh, for set at angle increment, uh, I'd like to have it at five degrees, especially if I'm doing Kick 90 or whatever you, you, know, you prefer. All right, now, when drawing a Kick 90 in 3D, uh, using this technique that I have, uh, it's definitely much easier and faster and works better in 2D. But let's say you're in 3D, you want to make it work. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to CN, so draw conduit, and we're at 7 foot. And let's say now I want to change up to 7 foot 6. As you can see, we're not going to let you do that. Okay, so we'd have to cancel. Uh, make sure it always flips you back, so make sure you're on slope. And uh, so let's go back to 7 foot 6. Let's try it again. All right. And now it did put the degrees in there, but unlike 2D, it would have made it at five degrees for some reason. I don't know why. And 3D doesn't do that. Uh, and plus two, as you can see here, it does this funky angle here. This is weird. So uh, let's just back up to here. Let's do it again. Okay. So we're going to go to, all right. You can see now we're going to go up to seven foot six slope. So the best thing to do is just draw or model the conduit. And as you see, it's not quite five degrees. Just change it to whatever you want it to be. And let's say in this case, you know, I want to go to five degrees. Okay. And then uh, you can start your conduit and then, you know, trim. And you get your five degrees. Everything's hunky dory. Now, if you're editing uh, kick 90s, it's pretty simple. Here, just, you know, create similar, start, get to the point here, and come down, and then automatically. Uh, you get your five degrees. <laughs> it's much easier to edit than to actually draw it in there, but it's pretty quick. All right, that's for today's tip.